The plot for Quantum of Solace, it take place immediately for two years after Casino Royale left off. We have Bond, who like to find a way that after Vesper Lind has been passed away in Italy, they need to find a way to get rid of the baddies. And then, by retrieve to help, to find a way, and it's pretty much like the spy mission to take out the bad guardians, including the villain who want to help. And then they retrieve to find a new girl in town. They try to fall in love with her. And then they finally save the whole iconography. And then that's pretty much the plot. What do I heard of Quantum of Solace? Ah, yes. Back when, the first time I watched it on HBO at my recording TV on my Spectrum cable box. And then what do I heard of it? It's great, but not as awesome as it used to be, but it's still great. So, yeah, this is pretty much the most underrated film of 2008. So, yeah. Is this my favorite film of 2008? Well, Wally is still my favorite film of 2008. So yeah, the animation, no, not the animation. The Wally goes through the animation. Well, spy action scenes look so epic. The story, very cool. The characters, we have James Bond, the main character. He is awesome. And I like Daniel Craig's playing for James Bond. Look really awesome. And then we have the new Bond girl. I like about the new Bond girl. As for my favorite Bond girl character of them all, definitely Vesper Lind from Casino Royale. And then we can get to the villain. The villain looks pretty underrated intense. And Judy Den, I mean Judy Dench's M, looks really good. She loved it, and she really good. Yeah, she is really good. The rest of these are so awesome, including the new song for this one, who played by the guy and Alisa Keys. That song is from Quantum of Solace. That is so awesome, including the opening scene when Bond, who likes to take out the baddies while driving Aston Martin DB5 car. It is so awesome. And then at the end, the gun barrel thing, looking real awesome. So, do I have negatives? Nope, I have no negative respond. Want the most underrated films of 2008. It gets a 9 out of 10. And it deserved the seal of epic masterpiece. So, hope you all enjoy and goodbye. And an important announcement for today before I leave. So, I just rewatched Amphibia for a whole new episode for a 15 hour rerunning marathon. It is awesome, and it's on Disney XD, which I love Disney XD along with Disney Channel. I love Amphibia as much as you do. That does it for today, and goodbye.